Percent Composition Objectives Calculate the mass percent composition given the formula of a compound. Calculate the mass percent of water present in a hydrate given its formula. And finally, calculate the percent of water present in a hydrate given experimental data. Percent Composition from Chemical Formula if we know the mass of an element in a sample of a compound, we can find its mass percent composition. This can be found by using this formula, which is also available in reference table T of the New York State Chemistry Regions, where the percent composition by mass is equal to the mass of the part divided by the mass of the whole multiplied by 100. Example 1. Determine the percent composition by mass of oxygen in CO2, carbon dioxide. The first step is to find the mass of the whole, the molar mass of CO2, which is 44.01 grams. Step 2 is to find the mass of the part, the oxygen in the CO2. Here, it's equal to 32 grams, because there are two atoms of oxygen in carbon dioxide. Step 3 is to find the percent composition of oxygen in carbon dioxide, where we use the mass of the part divided by the mass of the whole multiplied by 100. So the mass of the part is 32, the mass of the whole is 44, we multiply it by 100. Here we have our final answer to be 72.71%. 72.71% of the molecule CO2 is made up of oxygen. Practice question 1. The percent composition by mass of magnesium, MgBr, which has a formula mass of 184 grams per mole, is equal to, and here the answer choice is given is in numerical setup. So, this is the formula. We are given the mass of the whole, 148 grams, and now we have to determine the mass of the part. So, to find the mass of the part, we go to the formula. They ask us to find magnesium. There's one atom of magnesium, where it has a mass of 24.31 grams. Plugging it in the equation, we have choice number one. 24 divided by 184 multiplied by 100. Practice question two. Determine the percent by mass of nitrogen in NH4 NO3. The first step is to find the mass of the whole. So we've set it up. We find the total mass to be 80.06 grams. Step two is to find the mass of the part. We're asked to find the mass of nitrogen, the percent by mass of nitrogen. So for nitrogen, we have two atoms of nitrogen. From step one, we gather that to be 28.02 grams. Step three, we solve for the percent by mass of nitrogen using our formula. Here we have the mass of part, nitrogen, which is 28.02 grams, divided by the mass of the whole, 80.06 grams, multiplied by 100. Our final answer is 35%. The, mass by, the percent by mass of nitrogen is 35%. Hydrates. A hydrate is a compound that has a specific number of water molecules bound to its atoms. For example, copper sulfate that has five hydrogen bonded to it. The copper sulfate component is shown and there is a period, a dot, between the salt component and the water component. Here it is known as copper 2-sulfate pentahydrate, the penta representing five, five water molecules. Say for example, we were to place our salt, the copper sulfate pentahydrate in a crucible and apply heat. The water component will evaporate and all that would remain is the copper sulfate component. This will be known as the anhydrous, which means without water. Using this, we can determine the percentage of water present in the hydrate. 
Percent of water in a hydrate using its formula. Determine the percent by mass of water in the hydrate Na2SO4 dot 10H2O. The first step is to determine the mass of the anhydrous salt component, the Na2SO4, which the total mass turns out to be 142.07 grams. Step 2 is to determine the mass of the water component. First, we determine the mass for one mole of water, which is 18.02 grams. Then, we find the mass for 10 moles of water, which turns out to be 180.2 grams. Step 3 is to find the total mass of the hydrate, which is the mass of the anhydrous plus the mass of the water component, which is 322.3 grams. Step 4 is to solve for the percent of water in the hydrate. Here we use the formula. The mass of part divided by the mass of whole multiplied by 100. 180.2 grams is the amount of water present in the hydrate, divided by the mass of the entire sample, which is 322.3 grams. We multiply that by 100, and our final answer is 55.9%. There is 55.9% of water in the hydrate Na2SO4.10H2O. The percentage of water in hydrate from experimental data. A student conducted an experiment to determine the percentage of water in hydrate, BACL.2H2O, barium chloride, dihydrate. Using the data table below, determine the percentage of water present in the hydrate. The mass of the hydrate before heating is 3.80 grams. After heating, the mass is 3.20 grams. Step 1 is to determine the mass of water present in the hydrate. So we have the mass of the hydrate subtracted by the mass of the anhydrous after heating. Initially, we have 3.80 grams. After heating, we have 3.20 grams. The amount of water present in the sample was 0 0.600 grams. Step 2 is to determine the percentage of water present using our formula. The mass of the part, the amount of water present was 0 0.600 grams. The mass of the whole sample was 3.80 grams. We multiply that by 100. A common misconception is to use 3.20 grams instead of 3.80 grams for the mass of the whole. We multiply our answer to find 15.8%. In this experiment, the percentage of water present in the hydrate BACL.2H2O was found to be 15.8%. The next step in a type of question like this would be to determine the percentage of error in the experiment. Here, we would determine the theoretical percentage of water present in the hydrate from its formula. So like the previous question, we'll determine the percentage of water that's supposed to be in this type of salt. Then we use the data from the experiment and from the calculation to determine the percent error.